Hey guys, it's Kyle down here at LunaCycle. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the drive from your X1 or X2. Um, it's relatively simple. You can do it with most tools that you have at home. Um, here at Luna we normally use a bike stand which would hold the bike up in the air. But today I'm going to do it upside down like you would in your garage. Uh, we'll put up a shot of the tools you'll need on the screen right now. And I'm going to flip the bike over and go ahead and get started on removing the M600 drive. All right, now that we have the bike upside down, I'm going to start by removing the drive side crank arm and also the chain ring. So to remove the crank arm, you're going to want to loosen the two pinch bolts. And remove the main crank bolt. This is a six millimeter hex. And the crank arm should just pull off. Now if you have the big Luna lock ring tool, you're going to want to use that to remove the whole spider. But chances are you don't have that tool at home. So I'm going to show you how to remove this without the lock ring spider tool. And in order to do that, you're just going to remove these four chain ring bolts. And that will allow you to get the motor mounting bolts out of the way. So you need a five millimeter hex and we're going to go ahead and fully remove these four bolts. These may be tight. The backing nut may spin on you a little bit, but just be patient and you will get these off. You can kind of put your finger behind it and hold the nut on the back. And these will probably just drop on the floor. All right, and once you've got the chain ring uninstalled, you can go ahead and get it out of your way and just set this aside. Next, I'm going to go ahead and remove the little bash guard. So that is two four millimeter bolts. And then two three millimeter bolts. Some of the previous versions of this bike, this was a Phillips head, so you would just need a screwdriver for that. But most of these are just a three mil. And this should just pull out of your way. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the bike around so you can see the other side. All right, so we've got the bike turned around. I went ahead and pulled off the left crank arm, which is the same steps as the right. Now we have to go ahead and remove this little cover. It's a plastic cover, which hides all the wiring. To do that, you need a, 10, or a T10 or a Torx 10. It's the star-shaped one. There's three tiny little bolts. You got one, two, three. They come out pretty easy. Uh, they are gonna like fall on the ground. They always do, so just be sure your floor is clean so you can find these little bolts. All right. Now you can see the three main mounting bolts. These are bolts that go through the frame, hold the motor in place. It's a five millimeter hex on this side and then a 13 millimeter nut on this side. Now, normally you would want to use a socket for this, but a socket will actually only fit this middle one. Here at Luna, we use a special shave down socket so it can clear this little gap here. But I've even ordered thin wall sockets and they still don't clear this gap. So chances are you don't have a shave down socket at home. So I'm going to show you how to do this 
using just a 13 millimeter open end wrench. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna use this wrench to just kind of hold the nut. And then with your five millimeter hex on this side, you're gonna want to do all the moving with the, with the Allen key and just the holding with the 13 millimeter. So if you can see, I'm just gonna crack it loose like this and just hold that nut until I can thread this nut all the way off. And there is a washer behind it. Try to save that washer. So the middle one, you could use a socket. That's about the only one that a socket will reach just because of the clearance on the frame. And we're gonna go ahead and get the last one off. I'm gonna hold it just like that. It's tight and kind of hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm basically just holding this nut and doing all the work with the hex key on the other side. All right, so I've got all three bolts loose. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just push these out with my hands. So I got one of them pulled out. Second one. And then the third one's always the hardest. You may need to use something to push it through. But once you've got all three of those mounting bolts out, now you can just pull the motor straight out. You're gonna see you have your three connectors right here. So go ahead and unplug your discharge wire, unplug your speed sensor, unplug your main harness and now you can send your motor to us to either have your controller installed or have a repair done on the motor and don't worry we have the tool to take this on and off here at luna so if you don't have it feel free to just send it with the spider installed all you need to do is remove the four bolts to get the chain ring off